Well, prepping for a shoot tomorrow. Initiating the truck to truck transfer. Since I don't have a ramp in the new truck just yet. Got to transfer the tool chest, which is a couple hundred pounds from the old van into the new van. All right, got chat with a neighbor and running out of daylight. Got the cart secured. Got uh, two straps on the top side to prevent a tip over. And then I've got two diagonal poles on the base pulling forward in both directions. A little carpet padding. And now we're doing single camera tomorrow on teleprompter. And I get the P6K on the gimbal. That's my backup rig. We're going to shoot FX9. It's actually out on a job today. So Nick will bring that tomorrow. Get two battery chargers. I got a couple five in one reflectors. Just realized I'm missing the one of the prompter cases. Oh, hit my head first time. Oh yeah, we got a spare camera, spare tripod. And then we're gonna do a Skype conference to New York City. Our producer is remoting it. So I got a uh, SDI to computer box for Skype. Light kit, audio kit. Five forty five AM. I got dress shoes and pants on. I feel like an adult again for, for the first time in three months. Pretty impressive the additional amount of uh space on a big van. Uh, my other van, the uh the cart just exactly fit in the side door. So I believe the dimensions on this one are a full 48 inches, four feet wide, as well as high. So I like this because I think when I get in the eventual camper mode, I can potentially have the cart in the side door. And there's still plenty of room to step in comfortably. Packing the truck for my second job, the new van. Shooting interviews and some B-roll, single camera. Two Geminis with snap bags, FX9, 17-120, 21-inch monitor, and the P6K and gimbal is just a backup. It's not part of the order. And then I got my tool chest with my two tripods, batteries, interview light kit, wireless monitors. I am, um, I don't think I'm doing any video village tomorrow. There's an AC DIT with their own truck. And uh, there's also someone doing location sound. So we won't get any of my sound bits. I'm sure all my batteries are on board. Yes, they are. Yesterday was a success. Easy shoot day, close to home. We did three locations, all residential. I was covering for another DP. I think it was day eight on a commercial for a home appliance. We shot on the FS7. I'm sorry. We shot on the FX9. And it was mostly handheld, like shooting at the hip, holding the top handle. 16 to 35 zoom with remote focus. Uh, super impressed with that little camera. Get the wireless transmitter on there and the little tilta follow focus unit and it, it's like a little home movie camera super lightweight you know i held that camera all day at my hip with my arms extended i have no pain today today i'm shooting b-roll out at a fulfillment warehouse and uh, we're gonna do most of it on the mini jib so i got the mag liner loaded in the truck um, i'm thinking with the mag liner is since i don't have a ramp sorted out just yet for this fan. I'm not going to be able to pull my my tool chest. 
So I brought the mag liner and whatever items we need off the chest will manually load on the mag liner. Mini gym will get built at the truck and roll in, self-contained. Yeah, that's four cases plus the two weights. I don't think I need the Geminis, but uh, they're left over from yesterday. And since I have so much room in this new truck, I'm just going to leave them loaded. And then um, this was an Amira job, but my Amira has been locked away at RE service. Actually, both of them are unavailable. One's just up in L.A., and the other one's been, yeah, like, I'll do another video on that. That's a long, painful story. So we're going to shoot FX9. And uh, this is just web industrial application. I haven't figured out what kind of support system I want to use on the FX9. So repurpose some of my C300 kit. Use the dovetail, the small cycler touch and go. And then I just have the wooden camera sliding base on the bottom of the FS7. I'm finding with a uh, gold mount battery on the back and the kit zoom, it's front heavy. And I'm sorry, it's back heavy. And I don't have enough tr sliding travel on the um, Sockler head to balance it out. I was fighting that a little bit yesterday. So putting the dovetail in the middle will allow me to balance. Still have the little van I'm sitting here in the garage. What's interesting is everything would actually fit in this guy. The jib, the mag liner. Actually, no, I don't, hmm. Yeah, if I broke the mag liner down, it would fit in this van. Plus the jib, plus the cool chest. Instead, uh, I think it's, I'm gonna sell this tomorrow to a buddy. Took the door panels off to paint them. Just been cleaning it up a little bit for him. Uh, yeah, I miss this little truck. It's only been, uh, only done two jobs without it. And, uh, man, I miss the fuel efficiency and, uh, being so small. People are far less courteous in traffic driving the big truck.